Hi guys, happy Easter. Um, <clears throat> I figured um, Easter is uh, time for celebration, so I got a special beer here. It's, uh, from what I hear, it's pretty world renowned from uh, Germany. It's called the Ventinus. That's the label there. Give you a look at the whole label. And that's what the top of the top of it looks like. It's um <clears throat> it's from uh G Schneider and Son. Um let's see. Says brewed according to the Ryan Heitzkin Ryan Heitzkabat, which is the uh, Germany's uh, purity law for beer. Um, product of Kelheim, Bavaria, Germany. Um, this is original uh, bottle fermentation wheat Doppelbach. Brewed and bottled by a private Weiss beer Browery George Schneider and Son. So it's a it's a wheat Doppelbach. It's 8.2 percent alcohol by volume. Uh, on the back it says um, Aventinus, the world the world's classic top fermenting wheat Doppelbach has received accolades for the perfect balance of fruity spiciness uh, banana clove vanilla and notes of chocolate crystal and dark malts unfiltered unpasteurized bottle conditioned enjoy eventinus the massive twin of Schneider Weiss. So I got um I dropped my bottle opener. I got uh for Christmas my brother and his wife uh gave me this book beer by uh Michael Jackson <clears throat> and this has um the book has pretty much everything you need to know about beers from like all around the world they have a huge section on um, Germany and this is actually one of the beers that's featured in, in here um, and in here it says it's a uh, dark chestnut color banana and cocoa aromas spicy fruitiness almost refreshing owing to high carbonation though the warmth in the mouthfeel is a reminder of its alcoholic strength no apparent bitterness so sounds like it uh, ought to be a really good beer I, I came across this beer when I was um, before I moved uh, I went on a little beer hunt and I found a store that I've never been to uh, before and they had this and it looked really good and I've been wanting to get more into um, German beers so bought a bottle and now I'm gonna have it I'm using a goblet like I use uh, goblets for all my dark beers. Jeez. Look at the head on that. Beautiful. And it's got 
It's not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be, but it's still dark. And, um, typical of a, a wheat beer. Um, very cloudy. Like, you really can't see through it. But... Oh, very nice aroma. Definitely getting that, uh, banana clove like uh, fruitiness from the aroma and it smells very malty really uh, pretty much no hops to speak of in the aroma it's just very very malty very nice aroma now let's uh, get a taste That is, that's a damn good beer, let me tell you. so rich and uh, smooth it, it's wow it goes down real real easy oh, damn that's really good My hat's off to Germany, man. They they know what the hell they're doing. That's my uh, ancestry right there, Germany. Uh, I had a I commented back and forth with uh, Farkles one. Uh, we were talking about uh, Germ. Uh, he's part German and I'm part German I'm just about half German so I really wanted to get into their uh, their, their beers I've heard there's some really amazing German beers out there and <laughs> they weren't kidding I'm going to go ahead and give this an A plus <laughs> you can't there's nothing that uh, you could do with, with this to improve it, really. Nice and rich and malty. There's really uh, no... Uh, like uh, bittering it's like they didn't use um, bittering hops they just used uh, like whatever hops you need to use just to uh, serve the purpose a lot like the um, like what they do in um, Belgium like the hops they use are just for um, basically sanitary purposes to keep the beer fresh longer damn really good alright I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this and uh, probably take it a little slow cause that's uh, 8.2 that's pretty high <laughs> alcohol so yeah, damn, event in this A plus beer, man. You see it? Friggin' try it, it's awesome. Alright, guys, see you soon. Bye bye.